So today we're going to create a blog and I'm going to show you how to get started with that. You're going to be um, going to a browser, Chrome or Firefox, and make sure you're logged into your email. And then you're going to click on the little squares over here and click more and then click even more. And finally go to the bottom and you'll see blogger. Now you only have to do this this one time. Um, now you're going to create a new blog. So you want to click new blog here. Uh, give it a title, um, something that's meaningful. Don't include your uh, full name if you're going to do something, but I could do like Kim's blog. Now here is where you're going to uh, give it a domain name. So I could try to call it Kim's blog.blogspot.com, but I'm guessing that that is not available. So tap Kim's blog. Hey, that's available. All right. Um, and I'm just going to go right create a blog. I'm not going to worry about the template right now because you're going to be able to do that once we get inside here. Um, and I don't want to connect it um, to my domain, so I'm not going to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down here to um, template and customize. So now I'll be able to customize how it looks. There's a lot of um, templates that already come with it. You can scroll through them, see different things. So maybe I'll choose this one. Um, but I can also change the background either color or I can even change different uh, things to happen on the background. You can also upload your own um, background image here. Uh, just know that the file can't be larger than uh, 300K. Um, and we will actually be customizing uh, our background with our own image that we create later. So that's what you're, that's where you're going to do that. Um, you could also adjust how wide your blog is. Remember that depending on the screens that you're using to get to it, um, will determine how wide you really want that. Uh, layout, so this is um, where navigation is going to happen. You can have these different column layouts. And finally, um, advanced, you can change the fonts and the colors. So if we go to blog title, it kind of highlights what it is, and then you can choose different um, colors to go there instead. Uh, plus, you can choose different fonts. and do it for description and all the other things. Now, once you've done all the customizing you want to do, uh, make sure you apply to blog. Otherwise, if you just did back to, back to blogger, um, nothing would save. So once you've done that, now you can go back to blogger. The other thing we want to do is go to settings and um, we're going to start with our blog not being public. So under blog readers, you're going to edit and you're going to say private only to these readers and then you're going to add me as a reader. So I'm K-W-I-L-K-E-N-S at stab.org. Save that. And now it's private and I'll be the only reader for uh, the blog for now. Um, on posts and comments, you also might want to um, choose who can comment. You always want to have comment moderation if you have comments. Uh, but I would say we only want members of this blog to comment. You also want word verification. This is make sure that robots aren't um, trying to leave comments on your blog. You can also look at layout. Oh, I've had to save those changes first. Save settings. Um, you can also look at layout here. So you'll notice on my digital arts blog, I've created these um, pages up here. And uh, to do that, I'll just go into my blog. So now I'm in my blog. Um, I set up all those pages. Okay, those are pages, not posts. And then under layout, there is um, this uh, cross column heading that I can put and these are the ones that I want to show up. So those become my navigation. So there's a way that you can do that as well. Um, you can add gadgets here, there, and elsewhere. 
So finally, you are ready to view your blog. It's going to be a little boring right now. There's nothing there. Um, and now you can do a new post. So you've got a couple new posts as your first assignment. One is to write three pros and three cons for sharing. So you're going to give it a post title that's something about related to the post. And then here's where you write your um, comments in. You can add a link, you can add pictures, and you can add uh, links to movies. Um, the other thing you're going to do is create another post uh, that uploads your avatar that you created. So to do that, you'll click here and um, go grab your avatar by uploading it here. So that's about it. Uh, good luck.